I am not afraid. That's what we used to say, wasn't it? Every step near, I keep saying it under my breath, hoping that eventually, just for one second, I won't actually fear it. This wasn't how it was supposed to go. But then again, does anything we ever do go the way it's intended? <laughs> Did you hear about that incident today? I can't believe that they won't cancel classes. <laughs> Freak out the new ones. She's only stating the obvious. It's strange. How no matter what we tried, nothing seemed to work. A litany of madness. They took over us. Odd. When the only thing I needed in my life was to be understood. It seemed in the end, the one who did, well, they really didn't, did they? The Emperor and the Empress? Ugh. Everyone knew something was going on with them. That was some really fucked up shit, though. Absolutely. So did they ever find out who did it? Will the Emperor be okay? Looks like the pressure finally got to her. Can't say I blame her. Being who she is. Uh, was. Don't speak ill of the dead. We stand on the edge. A precipice of fascination. They said magic is a medium. Which means we, too, are only mediums for something so wonderful to exist. What do you say? I heard they jumped. That's not true, they fell. No, they jumped. You just want to brag that you're fucking Professor Lang again, you get insider information, we all know it's bullshit. No, that's why I know they jumped. Our shoes. They scraped against the mortar. It was a sound I used to love, gravel under my boots, cement under my heels. Now it just brings me nothing. My hands are stained, no, our hands are stained. As I look him in the eyes, I see the same glint of madness. We always messed up, didn't we? Always never good enough. At least we had each other. Say it with me, three. The sun is rising behind the misty sea of clouds. Two! My hands lace through his. I am not afraid. One! Close your eyes and say it one more time. I am not afraid. Magic is our medium. Yes! Fantastic. The two headmasters, they are now greeting new students for about the third time this year. And they start every time by saying that magic is our medium. Yes, that's right. Magic is indeed a medium. A medium to create and rebuild, to innovate and shape. We are its humble servants, destined to do a great many things. And we're simply here to guide you, as so many have before us. Now, I know you might be afraid transferring so deep into this academic year, but I assure you, there is nowhere else you belong but here. As Headmaster Michaels begins her first address, the hall is then filled with blood-curdling screams as students race through the hallways. The second Headmaster, Laurent, he waves the other down, stiffening as he stands, buttoning his coat and stepping down from the podium. He walks through this large assembly hall, giving charming smiles to the new faces, before exiting and closing the door on his way out, a faint click. Headmaster Michaels gives a soft wave of her hand, the students slowly calming down as her eyes give a faint shimmer of wafting energy. Be not afraid. And say it one more time with me. Magic is a medium. Here's where we find our party. Standing outside Ouroboros. Yes, Ouroboros. The backwards version of Sorobor. Pleasant, isn't it? A snake forever eating itself. Perhaps that's why this made sense. 
students leaping from the top of the academy building, committing suicide. From within, people just seem to die, and new life gets created. You see two people face down in the main courtyard of this academy. Their blood is filled in the seams of each child in the sidewalk. You know these two. You know them well. Everyone does. The Carmine twins. The headmaster shows up. And he beckons all of the students away. He shields his eyes from the sun as he looks at what he can only imagine would be where they were when such an impact occurred. He then calls all the professors in the areas, including Professor Mack, to help him with what can only be assumed as cleanup. He then tells everyone to leave. Go to your classes. There's nothing to see here anymore. You all depart. Confused, bewildered. The depth of this incident still burned into your minds, and you're truly unable to comprehend it. You don't believe it. In your classes, students are going haywire. They're looking at their watches. They're all talking about what's happened. Some are texting, some are on their phones, screaming to their parents to get them to come home. Don't let me stay here. No one actually seems to be that interested in the material that's now placed on this chalkboard. Which is odd for such a school so special and rooted in magic. For once, something so mundane happened. And you can't stop talking about it, you can't stop thinking about it. Can every student give me a perception check, please? Uh, one second. Oh, darn it. Make sure you're rolling as your character. Ah. Do you already have my token all set up and good? Uh, not on your sheet. You can upload that. Oh. Oops. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fix it up right now. You can do the, the full body. That's fine. Okay. Oh, that's more than I'm going to do that for the, for the the thing and then the, do the token as a later. Oh, uh, fuck. I gotta go back. Where, where is it? There it is. Hey. Uh, perception? Yes. Okay, so, everyone but, is it Ram or Rom? It's Rom. Rom? Okay. Mm -hmm. So everyone but Rom will see, well, not see, but you will overhear a couple of students, and you'll also notice something. You are told to go to your class, and you've been here for what you feel is 15 minutes. And your prefect, who normally teaches your course, is not here. And it seems like they're not going to even show up. One second. Hmm. Uh, Miss Frizzle was absolutely a weak <laughs> token. <laughs> Uh, then my answer stands, yes. I am <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm back. Alright, so uh, the conversation that you overhear is people talking about how some crazy incident a couple weeks ago happened with the Emperor and the Empress. You know those two people. The first being uh, the prefect who actually teaches your course, Liliana Goldstein. And you know the second to be one of everyone's favorite professors in the school, Professor Azriel. Those two 
have a, quite the history together and some people are saying that it was almost inevitable that something like this would potentially happen. But no one's talking about what happened, just that they know something did. This makes you curious, since that is supposed to be your professor, and... Well, Hollis, you really do know Lily. And you could consider her a friend, even if she would never admit it. <laughs> and after a few minutes, a loud voice, but calm, bleeds through the hallways, and then the entire school. It's a big echo, and it has heavy grief in it. Today, we have undergone immense hardship, and only together can we overcome it. Today, we have lost two students. Two fantastic friends, two fierce scholars, two aspiring, young lives. There is nothing that could have prepared us for this earth-shattering discovery, and we will lament this loss with every fiber in our beings. As magical individuals, their loss is substantially harder. We feel everything, and now, the lack thereof. Their signatures might have left us, dispersed into the world. But that doesn't mean that they are not still here with us. All we can do is ensure that they are remembered, even if their magic is not. We will be hosting a candlelight vigil tonight in their honor. Please, now more than ever is the time to come together as more than just students and professors. Today, tonight, tomorrow. We must be one union of people. The voice then fades and a small chime occurs, signaling the intercom for what you have now known very intimately is the daily news. Hello, Sorboro! It's Jasper Crown, your resident prefix here with all things Academy News. With me is my trusty partner and gifted demonic duo horn, Emily Vengeance. Say hi, Em. Hi. Now, on to the news. The final exams are coming up in less than two months, so let's all study hard and... <sighs> Party. That's what you meant. Have fun, because the year is almost over, thank Christ. What a joke, sir, that ruminant audiocolitis. Anyway, classes will not be cancelled tomorrow. <laughs> Got you there, didn't I? Uh, tonight will be the candlelight vigil for all of our lost friends. Let's have an impeccable turnout. Let them know that we're here for them. And other news. M. <sighs> the Emperor is now awake and accepting visitors. Please show your support to our beloved professor. Great job, Em. Love the figure. Go get him, Soroboros. So now you know that your classes are canceled. What would you all like to do, students? Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm hungry. For, oh, I'm looking for Professor Mac. I'm gonna go find him. Okay, well, the last place that you know where he was, he was helping with, you know, hmm. the incident. I guess I'll just go back there first. Okay. What about the rest of you? Um, uh, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go find something to eat. Okay. Alright, um... Uh, you know what? For the time being, yeah. Uh, Rom's gonna make his way out to the to cafeteria, at least, to get something to eat. Okay. Um, I will tell you all that... Professor Mac and Professor Azriel have been very very good to you all and you do really like them both you also shockingly enough don't really have a bad opinion about the empress either so keep that in the back of your mind that something happened with the two people that you could possibly consider friends that you don't know about and also consider that uh, Mac might be busy you never know it, I think for Rom, at the very least, it's more shock than anything else.
Food helps with stress. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, you guys are going to part ways for a bit, and two of you are getting food, and then Hollis, you said you're going to go look for Professor Matt, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. One sec. Waiting mode activated. Is Professor Mac's last name Daddy? <laughs> I'm no. Mac. Mac Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wish I would thought that. That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Hollis will go with you first. Okay. Um. You go back to the scene. And uh, it it seems to be... People are still there. They're still loitering. Um, the bloodstains are still there, too. They didn't clean that up yet. But the bodies are gone. Is there... Um, are there any professors around? Not that you can see. Okay. Um, where on the building did the, did they fall from? Like, up here, or like, this bad point? You have no idea. Rip. Okay. Um, I'm gonna head to Professor Mac's office. If he's not out here. Okay. Uh, so you are going to go back into the academy and you're going to go to Professor Mac's office. M- Professor Mac's office is almost on the very top floor, so you have quite a ways to go. As you're passing by uh, just any old random person, the only thing that they can talk about right now is what's going on today. Uh, that they're relieved that classes are cancelled, but they think it's unfair that tomorrow everything... We, they have to pretend that everything's normal. Um, others are, like, bawling. Because everyone was friends with the Carmine Twins. The Carmine Twins were... Just overall, from what everyone knew of them... Really good people. Very bright. No matter what happened to them, they were always positive. So this comes as a big surprise. Eventually... You make your way to his office, and you knock on the door. And Professor Mac, you are inside. What do you want to do? Also, make sure you post your photo when you introduce yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Will do. Yeah, but I, I knock on the door and go, um, Uncle Mac? I poke my yes. in. Yeah, because there's no stews in here. He, he he does what he does whenever he's stressed the fuck out. Just has a cigar in his mouth and just leaning back with the hat from with the hat down over his face like a cowboy for no reason at all. Oh, okay. I I enter. Let me get you my art. Never unprepared. Professor Mac. Uh, I poke my 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 not my little noggin. I guess I have a shit ton of hair. Uh, in the the room, and I go, um, Uncle Mac, is there anything you or the other professors need help with? Currently not. You know me. I'm not the whole um. <sighs> I don't. I didn't ask anything that I at that moment. I was told though, everyone needs to see um. Just takes the cigar in his mouth. As easy fucking off. Yeah, give me a minute to just get my shit together. Oh well, I just wanted to check on you and see if you needed anything no dear Hollis uh, currently 
just trying to um, get the sight at my mind for right now. Mm. No question. Were they were they students of mine? Yeah, they're students of everyone. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, he say, "Give me a minute." Um, but yeah, if you can go see Az. Cause I don't know how to say the name, so I'm just gonna call this person Az every time. <laughs> just, That's if fine. I do, her, if I so, do know the name, I'm gonna yeah. see Az. <laughs> so, uh, Hollis, you would know that he's talking about uh, Professor Azrael. Okay. That uh, apparently there's a lot of people who uh, in the faculty want the kids to go visit him. Mm. How well did I know the twin? Um, give me a history. <laughs> Let me... An 11. You didn't know them that well. But what you okay. did know, you liked. You often, um, would teach the, uh, what subjects do you say? I teach botany and I work in the green. Botany. That's what it like was. Like magic botany. I guess. I don't know. Flowers and yes. shit. Yes. So, when you taught that course, they were always there. They're always early, too. Oh, I like them then. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bummer. Um, okay, well, I just wanted to check on you, but if you don't need anything, Uncle Mac, I'll be in the greenhouses. All right. Remember, go tell everyone else, though. They need to see AZ. Okay. Um, you let me know if you need anything, okay? Yeah. Just lay out a big puff of smoke. Would do. Okay. Bye, Uncle Matt. And I, <laughs> I close the door, and I'm, I'm going to my greenhouse. Okay. Um, would you relay his message? Um, yeah, especially to the crying students. I feel okay. Like, go, go see, go see Professor Adam. Okay. So, um, Hollis, I'll say that you spent about half a day in your greenhouse before uh, you decide to go visit Azrael, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go hop to the other two now. So, you guys went to the dining hall to go get some food. Um, when you got there, there was nothing. But a lot of other kids went with you. So, like, there was this huge line, per se, to get to the door that is currently closed. Yeah, uh, man, it looks like we're hitting up the vending machines again. I can't do with packaged chips and... Pop tarts. I need a sandwich. Uh, make sure you post your photo. Uh, all right. That's okay. I got that. I got that. I believe. Where the hell? Oh, of course, it's in the wrong folder. Give me a second. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna make my way up line towards the door. Mm-hmm. Is there any, like, gaps in the door? No. It's fully shut. Mm-hmm. Is there a keyhole? Is there any sort of, like, uh, ability to, to, to look into, uh... To, like, poke your head? Like, well, your eye, yeah. I should say. Yeah. 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 And I can, like, vaguely see in there. Yeah. Hey, what do you see, man? Vaguely... Uh, yeah, what, what do I see? Do I just kind of, like, eh? It's like... Give me through a, a perception through, uh, with disadvantage. You see the two headmasters. You could tell by their legs. Um, and they seem to be talking, but... You can't hear what. Well, I can see the headmasters. I could go and try to see what they're doing. 
but I don't know if I want to interrupt them. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want detention. Nah, nah. It'd be better just to let them be. I mean, this has been a hard day for everybody. Come on, this the vending machines won't hurt you one more day. Come on. Ah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So as you both are walking to the vending machines, mm -hmm. um, you will run into Hollis, who is going to visit good sir Professor Azriel. Oh, uh, hey, Miss Hollis. Oh, you know you don't have to call me that. You can just call me Hollis. Yeah. Hi, Holly. Well. Maybe not that one. Just Hollis. Okay. Hollis, hey, how how you holding up here? I know everything's been kind of weird lately. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know them personally, so I guess it doesn't affect me as much as, as someone who might know them better than I do, but it's still very sad. Mm. I'm just mostly confused, I think. It didn't seem like they were all that hurting. At least not from what I could see. Would we? Would would uh, any of us or I know like if they've been uh, having any troubles recently before their sudden downfall? <laughs> <laughs> this, Sorry, that's evid funny. Yeah, you, you, you didn't read. You didn't read the handout. <laughs> um. Give no, me a history. They, they said they had they had good life. <laughs> I mean, more like in terms of recent recent times. Yeah, they don't talk about their home life. They don't Oops, talk that, about Bruno's insight. <laughs> That's not their. I think. Okay, so you did hear one thing, but it's a rumor. So, you know, grain of salt. Rumors, rumors. Yes. Um, you heard that they didn't get into the circle. Okay, follow-up question. Are we in the circle? Yep. Okay. Are we all in the circle? Am I in the circle? Yep. I'm in the circle. Yay. Yep. Um, so I know it's confusing, just roll with it, because yeah, we're yeah. starting in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's not like... They, they didn't get into the circle, but it's not like they would kill themselves over it. I mean, I wouldn't. You sure about well, that, man? The here's the thing. Can everybody roll me another history? With advantage. Uh, advantage, I can do that. <laughs> I love Rob. <laughs> uh, history? Uh, where is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know a thing. Uh, everyone? Right. Or just now? You can roll too. This can be like an introspective thing if you're curious. Yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Curiosity. Mm hmm. Okay. So, Seto, Hollis, and uh, Mac, you will remember that typically the circle, you don't ever really reveal your identity, but the new ones do get revealed. That that's kind of just the way that it works because the circle itself, all members have to be okay with who they're potentially recruiting. They were in it. So whatever that rumor is, is, is like bullshit. They were in it. Wow. Oh. We would know that. Yes, you would know that. Okay. That's weird. Join when you know. guys joined. Yeah, they joined. I ain't confused about nothing. Except for <laughs> maybe why I can't get into the cafeteria. Oh, because the headmasters are in there. And they've decided to lock it up for some reason. Don't they have an office? That's true. Why are they in that cafeteria? What? You bring up- you actually bring up a fine point. Why are they talking in the cafeteria? Eh? <laughs> All I know I is, really... the vending machines are over there, and that's where I plan to go here to both eat my sorrow away, and- Oh, hey! Were you, uh, were you growing that thing? Oh, you know. 
Is it ready? Soon. A few days. Damn. You can't rush it. I wish I was born with a green thumb. Well, Kinda wanna you'll just have to cafeteria. wait. <laughs> but if you boys are hungry, I might have something in the greenhouse. Hey. I'm more interested in meat. I... Oh, uh, well, I don't keep any of that in the greenhouse. Hey, I don't mind. Anything that's tasty will help. You sure you don't want to come? I'll follow. I... Oh, 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 yes, I totally, I forgot. Oh, you boys sidetracked me. We have to go see Professor Asriel. Oh, Professor right. Asriel? Mm-hmm. I went and spoke with Mac. Um, he's my uncle, you know. And he said to go speak with Asriel and to tell everyone. So, come with me. And I'll, and I'll get you some food in the greenhouses after, okay? No, oh, all right. A little bit of waiting can't hurt. Come I on. I have better food. At least for you, said. <laughs> okay. You're probably making so. All three of you are going to go to Azrael, right? That mm -hmm. is correct. Okay. So, um, as you're walking to the hospital wing, you will notice that there's a bunch of people heading over there, too. So, um, if there is any doubt in Seto or Rum's mind about how people were asking that they go visit, that is now gone. And uh, they let you pass. The other kids are um, bothered, especially most of the female counterpart. <laughs> very upset uh, that you guys always get to go first. <laughs> and um, when you go inside, you see that Azrael is on his hospital bed. He looks perfectly fine. Like there's not a single scratch. There's no bruising. There's, there's just nothing. But he looks confused. Hey, Teach. Ah, uh, hello. You can post your picture. Okay, one moment. I am definitely going to be using all of these. <laughs> Uh, hello, students. To what the way of the visit? Well, we were partially told to come by and see you, though uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm a little confused as to why. I'm pretty sure you're one of the people that knows everything around here. Dear, that's probably why we're here to see him. Oh... I pat you on the shoulder. How's he looking? Look he looks fine. fine. Yeah, he looks fine. He looks like nothing happened to him, so you're confused why he's still here. Yeah. Hmm. Asriel, you don't remember anything that happened. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you don't even know what happened today. Nope. nope Cameron sure. also doesn't know what happened. <laughs> Mystery <laughs> um, for the ages. I'm going to get out of bed. Okay. Um, yeah. Who? No, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Who amongst this crowd is like my best student? Hollis. Hollis. <laughs> yep. Hollis is a prefect. Miss Hollis, hmm. can you explain to me what's exactly happened? Oh, no one's told you yet? Told me Hollis, what? you get this is why you were specifically right. told to come here. Okay. To tell him what happened. Um, you know the 
the twins, the Carmine twins. I know of them, yes. They. No, you actually they... know them well. Oh, yes, I know them well. <laughs> I was going to make a roll of history, but then you spoke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Carmine twins. <laughs> How ah, those little rascals. He's really sick. <laughs> How are they? Where are they? Um, Surprised they didn't come to visit as well. I'm, I'm sorry to say, Professor, they died today. That's not a very funny joke, Hollis. I'm not joking. Yeah, you should see the, uh, the front of the school. They, <clears throat> they jumped, Professor. Give me a wisdom save, my dear Professor Ezreal. Natural, hard, but oh, I switched to public now, but <laughs> natural twenty <point>, people. <laughs> <laughs> this news is, is uh, shattering to you. You knew them very well. They were almost your favorite students. There's one that's better but those two you were very close to them so this is shocking you even recommended them for the circle that's how close you were with them I'm I'm not sure what to say What other information can you tell me? Um, it was in front of everyone. Um, classes are canceled today. There's a, a candlelight vigil tonight, soon, I think. And, um, well, the boys saw the, the headmasters um, in the, the cafeteria. They, they had locked it up. They were the only two there. I kind of nod. All right. You three head back to your dorm. I will speak with the headmasters. Do you want yeah. us to send for them, or...? I'll go to them. Okay. Thank um, you for bringing this to my attention. Yes. If you need anything from us, um, let us know. And, and Uncle, I mean, Professor Mack. He kind of nods, of course. I'll reach out and like ruffle your hair I as he passes by. Hair. Yeah. <laughs> um. So as really you, tall. yeah, as you reach out to ruffle her hair, you're you you get like this really bad splitting headache, and for a second you see somebody else in Hollis's place, and then it's gone. I've kind of. Clutch his head and be like, oh, maybe there's a reason I'm here. I reach out for you, Professor. I'm okay. Just a dizzy spell. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find the, I guess I'll head to the cafeteria. Uh, if the nurse lets you go. <laughs> She's gonna stop me. <laughs> Please be sexy, please be sexy, please be sexy. Yes, please be sexy. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck is wrong with you? (laughs) He's alive, that's what. No. (laughs) Um but yeah, she the nurse would not want to let you go because you're still under her care. You haven't been cleared. Uh, As you can see, I am perfectly fine. What's the nurse's name? Madeline. Um, um, Nurse Madeline, what if we accompanied him? Yeah, we can take care of him. Make sure he doesn't, you know, fall down again. <laughs> um. Wait, is that old? Shh. The nurse looks at you, Seto, like you have no decency. With what just happened, why would you ever mention something like that again? <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my god. What have um, you done? Yeah. I'm really good at jumping. 
And she crosses her arms and just walks away. Before coming back and then handing uh, Professor Azriel his typical, you know, wear. What he came in with, I should say. So you're saying he's in like a gown right now? He's yes, all like yes. butt out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Raise that posterior. Uh, no, wonder, no wonder the line of women was so long, am I right? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm trying to get a, get a first-hand look. <clears throat> Exclusive. Uh, yeah. He'll uh, get dressed, grab his cane, and, uh, all right, through the cafeteria. Okay, so, I need you to make me another, um, check. Two, actually. Make me a con save, and then a history. Oof. Okay. It still hurts. <laughs> All right, so you feel like something has been repressed from you on purpose, but you can't seem to remember much. But now you at least have some sort of image in your head. You remember that you were in the Circle's headquarters here at the Academy. You also remember that you were with Liliana. And there were more people, but Liliana is the only one that you can make a face out of. Hmm. Where is Prefect Lily? I... We, she's missing, yeah? Yes, she's missing. How no way knows she she How long has she been missing? Since the incident with um, that they were talking about with Azriel, which is about two weeks ago. Okay. Um, Professor, you don't remember? No. He's been missing for two weeks. What day is it? What day is it? <laughs> Just pick a day. It's Monday. Does, does that match up with the last day I remember? It is, it is Monday, May 25th, 20, 2002. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're talking about years now? What the fuck? It is. It's the third year of our Lord. Mm-hmm. It's the year of our Lord, 2022. Ah. My brother in Christ. Uh, give me another history. God damn it. Jeez. Should we all give one? No, it is what for him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So as you're trying to recall anything that you can about what's been going on, it just floods back through you. Do you want me to say this with everybody? Or do you want me to go in secret dealings? Uh, well, they know things I don't, so let's go to secret dealings. Ding. Hey, everyone. It's the Mindless Spectre. Just wanted to pop in and give an explanation of why my DM here is saying, do you want to go into secret dealings? This is a mechanic of our games that we've included with this group that is essentially just a big secret that one or more players get together with the DM and are revealed a secret truth about the game. Now, Players have the option to just have it out there for everybody, but in this case here, this particular mechanic does kind of add a little bit of intrigue, and more often than not, we end up wondering what the hay went on down in there. Uh, But most of the time, when we end up going off into these uh, secret dealings, the rest of the party ends up going into uh, ramble mode, and we will just ramble about random things. I usually will cut these out here just simply because it's a uh, not really a waste of time here, but it honestly, we get into some really weird things here, and I don't want you guys to have to deal with that here with our weirdness. But that being said, if you guys do want to know what goes on in the secret dealings, please leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think, what you would like to have us do in the future, 
And I'll go ahead and get together with our DM here and see if we can accommodate here. If you want to know what's going on in the secret dealings, maybe we can have her record them so that we can place them here. Otherwise, uh, honestly, I don't mind it here because if you don't want it, that's less work for me to do here and less meta that I have to ignore. So with that, I send you back to the game here. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye now. Yeah, for a minute, um, Professor Azrael has his eyes closed. He's in a completely different world. Weird. So he just walking along. He just stops mid sentence. Yeah, and just, yeah. <laughs> just stops <laughs> mid sentence, and it's just his eyes are closed. He's just standing there, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Probably is the first time you see him do this. I'm like, I poke him. He's not like responding. I start drawing yep. on his face. Okay, and... wait, whoa, whoa, you shouldn't be do Oh, is that a permanent marker? Oh, oh. stop that. I uh, atomize you. <laughs> suddenly, his eyes just violently open. Oh, <laughs> oh man. And, and he just makes a beeline down the hallway. Oh, Professor! <laughs> and oh. I scurry after you. Doesn't say anything, just... I starts he does that thing where you know he's walking a little fast and he starts to jog and then he's running if anyone jack sparrow i uh, grab your cane flower. hey guys come on i can't keep up with that ow uh here give me your hand no it's literally i can't yeah you see him with, a, with his walking stick he's literally can't keep up with you guys yeah I, I, and i i and i grab your hand you, mm -hmm. you take my hand take my hand Take my hand. I will Dude, take this so poor sinner's hand. And then uh, I just say, brace yourself, and we teleport forward Oof. a little bit. Hey! Oh, yeah, I forgot you could do oh, that. Yeah, just keeping in pace. Okay. So he leads you down this wild goose chase man you have no idea where the hell he's going but he certainly isn't going to the cafeteria that's for sure he in fact leads you past the circle's door which is confusing why would he do that why are we going all the way over here it's first of all it's like a half abandoned building first and foremost second of all there's nothing else here why does he care so much Despite anyone trying to call out to him, he is just... He doesn't care. It's like he can't even hear you. He's still in his own world, eyes glazed over, etc, etc. Eventually, you reach a blocked wall. And uh, does that instill you with any kind of panic? Yeah, Sorry. kind of. <laughs> yeah, we. Oui. Hey, where's he going? I want to I get rid of that wall. Does he do okay. this often? Just run off? Not like this. Okay. <laughs> he does something similar to this, so I feel like I'm just along for the ride. Well, this is this is different. This he so Professor Azriel is normally this very charismatic, calm and collected dude. He he just doesn't he doesn't like to raise his voice. He doesn't scream. He doesn't ever run. He hates running. <laughs> So the fact that he's like doing any of this, let alone all of it at the same time, is disconcerting. I want to reach out and like grab the center of the wall and pull it apart like it's paper. Mm. Uh, can you do that? I would think so, due to that one power. I don't know if that is that small. I mean. Oh shit! Checking. It's the level two one. <coughs> yeah, there is. While you're mathing this out, I just want to say I love that that Rom got into the circle and no one questions it, but they're like the twins didn't make it in. <laughs> um, well, well, the you twins said... make it in. It was just that a was rumor. that was I just know. a rumor. <laughs> it says upgrades to bigger things at level 6, and we are level 6. 
There's a wall of bacon. Oh, things. fine. Yeah. <laughs> you can describe how you do that then. Alright, um, I just, like, basically, like, I reach out, like, the center of the wall as, like, a poster and just kind of rip it open. Whoa. And the wall crumbles like paper. So, when you pull your hand away, everyone would see that there's just the body of Lily there. Whoa. In the wall. Whoa. Whoa. What was the wall? Hey, what, yo? Oh my goodness. What'd you do? Also, why is she there? What, um, what else you all notice? Is that both of her wrists are slit, Ooh. and there's like a pool of dried blood under her. Oh no, uh, Professor! How did you know she was there? I uh. will ignore that, and I will just—I'll check if she's on the very fucking off chance that she's alive. Check for a heartbeat. Okay. Uh, give me a medicine. I am the bad of those. I'm good. Yo, I bet she stanks, though. She's been here for two weeks. Ugh. Why am I whispering? Well, we don't know how long she's been in there. She's been missing two weeks. Missing doesn't mean that she's been in there and for dry two blood. weeks. Dried blood? She can't... Yeah, dry, blood can dry pretty quick. And it could take a day. He's not wrong. She's Shut up, people, so she can tell me what happened. All right, so you, what do you do? Like, do you pick her up? Do you just like collapse the floor? Like, what do you do? Hey, I pick her up, check for pulse. Okay, so She's as small, you, I'm strong. So as you are checking for a pulse, you notice that her eyes never closed. She Ooh. is dead. There's none there. Hey, Professor, w what? What's going on? The <sighs> the twins killed her and left her body here. What? Hey. But they. Wait, I. But they. I'm so confused. I and how do you know that? I went back and looked. Okay. Uh, Hollis, go ahead and give me a history check with advantage. And you can too, Sin. Well, actually, not with advantage. You give me disadvantage because you're staring at <laughs> a dead woman that you care about. 18. Oh, god damn. Alright, you better. both know. Yep, you both know that um, Professor Mac deals with life runes. He might be able to do something. Okay, um, I. So, I'm covered in like little Groot babies. I just have little Twiggy babies all the time, <laughs> right? There's like 10 or 15 of them, and they're just like in my hair and just like in my pockets and shit. I pull one from a pocket and I whisper to it Go get Uncle Mac. Bring him here, and then I, I I scurry him off along. Oh, I can I can do that much faster, and I just vanish. Oh, Twiggy baby, come back! <laughs> I'm going to start carrying Lily to Professor Matt's place. I pick up okay. my Twiggy baby, play that order, and I tuck him in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just Three. to give you a frame of reference, uh, uh, at least for the uh, Miss DM. I can uh, teleport 60 feet, uh, like per round, and mm -hmm. I have, and I can also uh, like walk that distance. So I can walk 30 feet and also teleport. So I have that full range of movement. Okay. And, uh, you know, so I can dash and all that stuff. Mhm. Mm so that's like the the frame of reference for like the speed of transportation and movement. And I can bring people with me. Uh, I think right now I can only bring three people that are willing. Okay, so, um, 
you find yourself at uh, Professor Max's door to his office. What do you do? I kick it open. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a surefire way to get shot. He's Texan. Yeah. He's Texan. Have you not seen the hat? <laughs> he is Texan as fuck. I, yeah, well, I, ki- I kicked the door open because it's, you know, emergency. Not that you kicked the door open, but it's a big door because of how big Mac is. Because I haven't told you how big this one is. <laughs> is he at least as big as me? The door. <laughs> Does it oh. open? <laughs> oh, shit. He's getting uh, a shot. Door right. lock, Mac? Um, after Hoss left, it probably been a lot because he just needed time to be alone. So it probably <laughs> is. <laughs> So do I just hear somebody kick in my door? <laughs> you just yeah, you hear uh, like a boom, thump, ow! Fuck <laughs> I me! Mean, give him a strength check. Max. Yeah. I'm not gonna break that shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mac just gets up and open and just walks over to the door. The other thing, Mac is eight two and big and buff. <laughs> He's not oh. small, dude. Oh shit! You're as big as my dad. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's a half dragon, guys. He has dragon features. <laughs> he just opens the door and is like, Why are you kicking on my door? I just, uh, uh, need you to help, body. Uh, do you work with, uh, hurt, I've heard the, the life stuff, right? You gotta be more specific. Uh, it's fucking. Get what you can. We found, uh, Lil. Lil. Uh, I already uh, Lily. Yeah, there. You, I just just Lily. Uh, we found Lily. She's, she's dead. She was in a wall. Azriel has her right now, but just you see his eyes you there. You see his bright red eyes go wide. Like, all right, let me get my tattoo kit. <laughs> he just goes over to a desk and pulls out a suitcase from under his desk. All right, show me the way. All right. Uh, I hold out my hand. He takes it. He probably knows what he. You're probably a student. He probably knows what you could do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we start going. They're gonna meet them halfway if they, if he's starting to come towards us. Okay. And they meet me halfway. So you you will meet halfway. Uh, what do you do when you see uh Mac Azra? I will just kind of cut into a empty classroom okay expecting them to follow I oh I follow yep. and I will All right. use some kind of magic to turn the desk into a bed okay so Mac when you come in you see a very lifeless uh, Liliana which she is Almost the school's pride and joy of a prefect. Uh, yeah. She's been here for four years. You know her very, very well. Yeah, uh, Mac, Mac, yes. Max, Max says, "Oh, I'm gonna re- need the real magic ink." He just starts opening his case, and y'all just see like intricate tattoo equipment with ruins and stuff ran all over him. He's given many students tattoos with these things. Some of them have been magical tattoos, but he used these mostly for runic magic. Yeah, tattoos ain't my thing, bruh, but, uh, thank you. Oh, wait, you're doing it for her. That's right. Yes, yes. Uh, you just see him pour out a golden liquid that looks like bliss ink. Alright, um, I need to, I need her back. I'll flip her over. (laughs) <laughs> I'll, I'll help. I'm a good assistant. She's... If she's wearing the same dress she always does, it doesn't have a back. Cool. No, so, she's wearing her uniform. Oh, okay. I will... Fucking take off the jacket <laughs> and lift up the and shirt. the shirt, yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. I could just, um, lean, kneel down his big ass size like he Make sure nothing inappropriate shows yeah like he he gets on his knees because he has to do intricate work looking at the right, chalkboard this, this might take a minute this this is this is an intricate intricate magic 
he just starts he just starts cre like creating the design of what he needs on her back. You see it ruin the script. Not a drawing or anything, but just script just being marked on her back. In this golden metallic liquid. So Serena, what would I have to do? <laughs> um well I can do Arcana, I can just spend all my spell points, because that's what I use. I, have to check. I don't want to have that. <laughs> this is just magic. <laughs> Um, I would say do Arcana, and this is your specialty, so you can do it with your advantage. Oh boy, let's go. Okay, so this whole process is going to take about eight hours. Yeah, makes sense. Um, do you, do, who stays? And who leaves? I'm staying. I'm a good leaver. You're gonna what? <laughs> I said I'm. I said I'm a good leaver, so I can go back and forth. Okay. Uh, so everyone's staying is what I'm gathering. Oh, I was I was talking while I was muted. I am so sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go and uh, guard the door. Should I let? Should I let anyone else know? Should I get the, the headmasters? Should I get a no. nurse? No. Just wait for now. I have a question. Are uh -huh. the headmasters in on the circle? Yeah. Cool. Wonderful mate. I want to think one of them. Hmm. Why? S side note, excluding the fact that I keep dropping it, uh, Professor, um, Asriel has a very pronounced French accent. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I just keep dropping out of it. It's fine. I'm, I'm, I have to get into Southern accent, but it's going to take me a minute. Even though I'm from Texas. Just so you already told Texas. There is no true Tejas. Southern... There is no true uh, Texas accent. It's all Texas. Yeah. Bigger in Texas. Anyway. You ain't kidding. Look at Mac. <laughs> <He's a fucking laughs> anyway. Uh, but why? why? Why are we not letting anyone else know? Why are we just going to sit here with this for uh, a day? Just. We will leave afterwards. This is a delicate matter. Yeah. Um. During this whole eight-hour process, you will see him finish the back, and then he starts making a circle around the floor. Like it's just a whole process of a language that, if students have took the classes, they know some of the alphabet. <laughs> it's very intricate. It just you see, he doesn't just he to him. All you are gone. You are not here. You just ghost. <laughs> But every ruin he writes, after he writes it, even in the ink, it starts to glow. As the process gets deeper and like, in, deeper into the hours. I'm going to be guarding on the outside of the door. Oh, hey! Welcome to the outside of the door! <laughs> I love Brom! <laughs> it's a lot more, it's a lot brighter out here than it is in there. Well, I mean, it is outside. Yeah. Um, Where did you expect? I, <laughs> I don't know. Gloom, doom, rain, sadness. Oh no! You want you want building C four over that way? <laughs> oh yeah, I can see the clouds from here. Yeah, yeah. It's it's the elementalists over there. Okay. So. <laughs> Sorry. The eight hours takes. A long time obviously it's it's eight entire hours of him doing yeah. yes and um after it's over it is deep into the night and you can hear the candlelight visual going on outside <laughs> um mac 
how long do you typically think it would take for a spell of this magnitude to come to fruition? Like, so let's say the eight hours are up. When would you expect her to wake up if she does? Realistically, about 10 minutes because it takes the ink has to sink into her to bring the body back to life and then the ruins around her has to guide her soul back. Okay. So it takes a process of 10 minutes just for those two things to happen. Okay. So as you all are waiting for that, how is everyone mentally feeling about the entire day? Tired. One by one, we'll go down the list. Sure. So, cheese. How's how's Hollis feeling? Um, I think she's very tired and uh, just so sad. But, um, growing up with Uncle Mac, who does eight-hour rituals, she's got a lot of patience, and so she can keep going if she needs to. It's just... It's so okay. Uh, Eternal, how is Professor Mac? Uh, mostly stressed and confused because two of his students just died and that sadness him. At the same time, not knowing why they died or why they took their lives. And then being, being brought here and her dead, like... He doesn't know what's going on, but when this when she wakes up, he's gonna get the fuck to the fucking bottom line of it, and these motherfuckers are gonna talk. <laughs> I have all the muscle to make them talk. Okay, Green, how is Seto doing? Uh, tired, confused, doesn't really know how to process it. As nothing has ever happened before. Hungry because he never got to eat, and that <laughs> just kind of makes him angry. I have a question. Can I have sent my twig babies to the greenhouse to bring back some snacks? Yeah, sure. Okay, I brought like apples, and definitely there's kale chips in here. And, and also, uh, I don't know, greenhouse shit. <laughs> also very suspicious of what exactly has been going on, so he's kind of like on edge. Okay. Uh, Cameron, how is Professor Raz? Uh, he doesn't really know how to feel right now. Angry, sad, confused. <clears throat> right now, he's just waiting. Hasn't really taken his eyes off Lily. Okay. And last but not least, Josh, how is Rom? Yeah, mostly, mostly confused about this whole ordeal. Um, sorry, I'm I'm in Ram voice. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's mostly just confused about the whole ordeal. Um, he got to know the the twins, and that's kind of that's kind of hitting him kind of hard. But more more mostly just confused. He doesn't know what's going on. Three people have. Died, died within, as far as he's concerned, a short time span. And uh, he's trying to make sense of it in his mind. Mm hmm Okay. <sighs> I am going to need everyone to make me a wisdom save. Well, shit. Damn. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we have no wisdom this character in this group. Dude, what the hell? I rolled a nat one on that one. That's so Sorry. funny. Hopefully the AC was low. Because, oh, my God. <laughs> I, you know what, uh, DM, I'd like, like nope. uh, I'd like to go ahead and, I'd like to go ahead and re-roll that. Oh yeah, that's oh. right. I forgot that I have that as well. Okay, so, re-roll and then get uh, two. Yeah, yes, I kind of want to do that too. 
All right, okay. let me reroll it. Rerolling wisdom save. Fuck. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'll All give right. you that run one d two right now here. Yeah. Yep. Mine's a one. Mine is also one. Okay. So uh, see. Lit. So, <laughs> um, you both see a potential outcome. And what you end up seeing is that she does not wake up. It did not work. Uh, S Professor Azriel goes completely apeshit. And um, something even stranger happens. Something that you can't really explain. There's just a loud sound... And for a brief moment, you see a strange face. I'll send you a picture. Ah, hey, shit. And it blurs over Professor Azrael's. Just for a brief second. And that's it. Now, do you guys choose to take your secondary role, knowing what could happen? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I very much do. Okay. Shit. He spoke before me. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you can still choose to not take it. Yeah, you, yeah. you still can. I think ignorance is bliss. I'll take the nat one. <laughs> okay. So... Your ten minutes comes up, and you feel something kind of pulling at your mind. You think it's probably from all of the grief and distress that has happened today. Not only did you see two students that you cared about on the floor, dead, but you also saw your teacher, your prefect, somebody that you've gotten to know rather well throughout this year despite how icy they seem on the inside murdered it's a lot to take in and then there's this noise and it sounds horrible for a second but then you understand it's just the sound of somebody breathing Again. She is awake. Oh, sweet merciful. We don't know that yet. We're still oh. outside. Good. And, uh, Mac will go down to make sure everything works. Because <laughs> she's breathing, yes. But he has to make sure she's there. So he yeah, just no, leaves. She... She's like in a panic frenzy trying to get up. She's screaming like, you know, bad. Yeah. I am going to Not hold her down. I'll help. And basically tell her, you know, everything's okay. I am here. You are safe. After seeing what I saw for just like a brief second, then I hear screaming and panic inside the room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just kind of kick down this door and, and just like in a fighting stance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you do it? Oh, oh shit! Is this the Why? hunger getting to you? Why do you keep kicking doors? Yes, she's up. <laughs> like seriously, are you? You're not from Texas. Why are you kicking the door <sighs> down? I was gonna close the door and stand it outside again. <laughs> God damn it! Cool. And I'm gonna. Um, I'm just gonna spend the next couple of minutes here while we're outside the door. Saying, why do you think you you keep kicking down doors? Because it's the most effective way to open a door. No, it, it, turning the doorknob does that. Yeah, it's faster. Uh, Mac will sit down and just wait for her to be calmed. Uh, and just watch. Okay. It takes a good bit of time, I'd say. But eventually she will calm down 
as much as a person who their last memories were of their murder can. Yeah. Um. And she just, her eyes seem to just fixate on uh, Azrael. Yeah, he really doesn't know what to say. <laughs> what That's do fine. you say in this situation? Who knows? Sorry, you got killed. Yeah. Um, Mac would say, AZ, Lily, y'all should go rest. Um, Lily, I'm going to come see you tomorrow to make sure you're all there. I didn't. You. I don't use that spell often. Uh, she she wants to respond, but she just can't really seem to find the words, so she'll just give you a small nod. I hand her a bottle of water. What? 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 Yeah, um... What was the wisdom save for? <laughs> You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, boy. Nothing's happened. <laughs> yeah, um... Uh, Mac would get up, um, walk over and pat her on the shoulder and get his gear up. We're going to have to talk about this, but you two need to get your rest. You have a long day. For now, I am going to take her to get some rest. I do not want the headmasters informed this yet. Why? Because I think they may have been in on it. Oh, oh. That's a heavy accusation. Exactly. I'm on the other this side. Is why, <laughs> what are you exactly, talking about, man? This is why we are keeping the secret now. I just put a cigar. I'll leave it to you for now. But if things don't seem right, I'm going to start talking to people. Well, I'll leave it. I'll, I'll keep it secret for now. Alright, so you all slowly make your way outside the room, your objectives, you know, kind of set in stone. Um, do any of you stop at the candlelight vigil before? Uh, Mac uh, does. I go with him. I will definitely go. He hasn't okay. had enough, uh, you know, Ram hasn't had a chance to fully decompress yet. I think I'm not going to go, and I think it's people would understand if I didn't go. Okay. So. All right. I so don't want to go either. It's just too much. Because Mac doesn't know that he they were told, "Hey, twins tried to kill her." <laughs> so I don't know this shit. <laughs> Mac is like, Mac is gonna go like, yeah, I'm gonna go to the kids who I liked. <laughs> yep. So. For those of you who spent some time at the candlelight vigil, it's a nice night. It w and the turnout was Im indeed impeccable, just as Jasper had asked. Soon enough, you all find yourselves in your rooms, getting ready to fall asleep. And when you do, you can't help but feel something ominous has spread. And then it's probably only gonna get worse. But how could you stop it? You're not really sure. So you fall asleep. But the next time that you open your eyes, it's a completely different scene. And you hear a small but very audible sigh from not too far away. And it's Lily. And she says, <sighs> Welcome to Sora Boro, Academy of the Gifted and Exceptional. I am to be your tour guide throughout the day. Off to the side, as you're walking, behind Lily, you see another classmate. Oh, look alive, Lily. 
You'll make them leave. No, I won't. They're here for academic excellence. Seekers of knowledge. This meeting is irrelevant. I'm sparing my time and energy showing them how to tie their shoes instead of working on my magnum opus. She shakes her head. And then runs a hand through her hair. Right this way. You're now at the academy for the very first time. Passing by a line of professors excited to see you. Magic is a medium. Each one of them says as you pass by. One of you. You meet eyes with Professor Mac and Professor Azrael. You feel like you've seen them before. They feel like they've seen you before. And it's weird, isn't it? Maybe it kind of resembles this academy in a way. A snake forever eating itself. A random student asks Lily, why did you join this academy? Do you like the person who made it? And she responds by saying, Caleb believed with every ounce of his soul that magic was a medium. He knew that people feared death and what comes after it. But in the end, we all die. The goal isn't to live forever, it's to create something that will. And that's where we will end today.